What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So here I have Ahsoka's Mission Fleet Starfighter, the Delta 7 Jedi Starfighter from the Clone Wars. So yeah, I have seen these Mission Fleet, you know, sets and figures for about like the past year and a half or so. Um, actually, probably more around like two years, I think, since they came out. Um, and yeah, I've always thought they kind of looked neat. They reminded me of like modern day galactic heroes, but they've always been kind of expensive. And I went to Ollie's today and I found this for legit five bucks. Original price was 20 and I got it for five bucks. So I was like, you know what? I got to do it because I was going to try these out. Um, and you know, I, I like Ahsoka, um, from the Clone Wars and this is a pretty neat starfighter here. So yeah, it comes with quite a bit, and we're just going to go ahead and see what's in here. And I do want to mention real quick, uh, while I was there, they had a crap ton of stuff that was really cheap. I mean, not they had a lot of stuff, but it wasn't super diverse, because like, whatever they had a lot of, it was a lot of the same thing. But they did have a lot of the Vintage Collection Luminara Undoli, which I just got while I was at that huge toy hunt. Um, and I bought her for like 15 bucks, and they had her for 4 um, so I ended up just picking her up to have her sealed up here, but yeah, they legit had her for four bucks and I got her for 15. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Um, I had opened the one I bought, so I guess I'll just keep that one sealed. Um, but yeah, so I honestly might go to Ollie's a little bit more often now just because they have some really, really good, um, deals there. So yeah, if you're ever looking for certain stuff. Head over to Ollie's because they do have good stuff. They also had a Black Series Moff Gideon for like eight bucks. I was considering getting that, but then I found this stuff and pretty much for the same price, I got two things here. So yeah, let's cut the tapes. Yeah, like, like I said, I've genuinely been interested in these and wanted to kind of try them out. So, you know, this is my first go at them. I don't know, I don't think they sell that well because a lot of them were at Ollie's and Ollie's is kind of like a bargain store. Um, but yeah, hopefully Micro Galaxy Squadron start showing up at Ollie's because I do like getting those and um, it'd be nice to like, get them for cheap there. Let me try to pull this out here. Um, I really wanted to go. Alright, there we go. Alright. So it pulls out like that. And it looks like I got some sort of um some sort of manual. Sorry, I'm just looking at the box. Okay, so so here it is. Um so let's pull this out here. Okay, that came out very nice. So here's here's her here's her shuttle. It's actually kind of cool. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we got some stuff. What? Okay. Here's this bag. And then here's the Ahsoka figure. Let's see. Let's see how we get her out here. Um, sorry, stuff is falling. Let's, let's get Ahsoka let's get out of here. So, yeah. Let's get this open now. This is accessories, I think. For five bucks. Yeah, I mean, keep in mind, this is five bucks. Okay, so there's quite a bit of accessories here. Alright, so we got we got a cannon of some sort. We, okay, so here are her two lightsabers. Now, this is actually pretty cool. Um, one of her lightsabers is smaller than the other. That's kind of her signature, th her signature thing. And this is obviously before she had left the order, so she still had her green sabers. Um, oh, I'm assuming that this is how you make the turret. And you put that together like that. And, and then you, you kind of just got a turret here, and then load it up let's do a firing test i'm kind of scared wow that went pretty far okay so there's that and then let's take a look at this figure here so like i said it reminds me of galactic squad or galactic heroes which was basically like a, a line in the early to late 2000s um of star wars and there were small little figures i collected them a lot and then they switched over to 
a style that's more like this, um, but they're a little bit bigger. I'll probably make a video comparing them, honestly. And then now they're here with these Mission Fleet um, uh, dudes. So yeah, overall, um, you know, she's pretty detailed um, for her being small. Um, I would, I have to say, I feel like the Micro Galaxy Squadrons has an even more detailed figure, but, but that's just me. I mean, they definitely could have done a little bit more because she's not that small. I mean, like, here's my hand. She's about, she's about pinky length, a little bit taller than pinky length. So, um, yeah, but I mean, it's not bad. Her face looks good. Um, the neat thing is you can make her hold her sabers. Or at least you're supposed to be able to. Let's, um... Oh, you know what? This kind of looks like... No, I, I'm not a master at knowing whose saber is whose. But the end of this hilt looks like Obi-Wan's. Has, like, the ball and the spikes. There we go. She's holding one. And then let's put the other one in. Yeah, but I do have to say, it is it is nice that you get to take the sabers out. Because sometimes these little figures just put them in. Um, and you cannot remove them. And another thing that's kind of cool is um, the legs do not move together. They do move separately, which in the past, for figures like this, they have made it so they move in sync, but not for these. And yeah, so, you know, pretty basic articulation. Oh, her arm does not want to move up. Don't want to break that, um, but her arm can swivel. So not bad for an Ahsoka clone, or uh, Clone Wars Ahsoka. So there's there she is. And then th let's take a look at this Starfighter. So it's pretty big. Um... Yeah, there, there's the underside. Oh. Looks like it has some landing gear. Oh, that's nice. I'm really glad that they added that. Um, and then she has her droid. I don't think he can come out. He cannot. But his, his face can move. That's cool. Or his head can move, not his face. Um, is that a dead fly? I really hope that that was not in the package. <laughs> It's like a dead fly. Okay. Well, yeah. So here is like a view of the design. I always thought she had a cool design. Um, Starfighter. So that's probably why I got it. Um, and there are these holes in it. And it, that's apparently to put the the turret on it. I'm not going to be doing that. Um, but yeah. So she does have a cockpit here. And I believe... There we go. If you just open it up like that, and then let's get, let's get Ahsoka up in here. Um, can she go in? Oh, see, it's just it's probably gonna like bend her flap situation. Let me take off her sabers because I don't want them to get lost. Um, so I'm guessing you just uh, go like. This? Do I have to like crunch your legs together? What? Where are her hands supposed to go though? Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Actually, you know, it's quite spacious actually if you look in it. That's, how, that's, that's actually not bad. Then you shut it like that and then boom. She does look like she's, she's, uh, she's tilting down. It, it, it looks like she's sunken down a little bit. Let's see if we can fix that. Oh, uh, this is hard to get open. Okay, there we go. Let's make her sit a little bit higher up. All right, there we go. It's a little bit better. Not, not perfect, but hey, this is like a, like a pretty much toy just made for play. Um, but I do think it looks pretty cool. And yeah, yeah, you know, it, it's 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 neat. Here it is. From a top-down view. I mean, hey, five bucks. I think this is worth it for five bucks. I don't think it's worth it for 20. <laughs> um, it's not huge. Um, like, here, here's a top-down view of it. Um, like, here, here's my hand. It's, it's, it's decently sized, but it's definitely not huge. So, that is one thing to keep in mind if you are looking into getting this. Um, the figure itself... She, I mean, she's moving around. She's rattling around in there. Um, so she doesn't really stay still. But if you get her in a good position, um, then she won't move if you just have it displayed. Overall, good design on the ship. Um, and yeah, you know, it's just a basic Starfighter. It's like, like any other. Um, you know, if you want to get it for a child, it has to play situation with the cannon. 
and the figure's pretty good as well. So yeah, but that is my little review of the Mission Fleet Ahsoka. Again, I'm just happy I got it for five bucks. Um, I think it's a pretty good deal for anything Star Wars, honestly. And so yeah. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.